Hey everyone, today I want to take you through some steps of LumaFusion, which is a really great editing app. You can use it on iPhone or iPad. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to launch up LumaFusion on my iPad and I can run this demo for you. So once you open it up, one thing to keep in mind, it will look different in portrait mode versus landscape mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over on its side. You're gonna see a little plus sign at the very bottom where it says press the plus to create your very first project. So we are going to be pressing that, but first I wanna show you the different layouts. If you select them, there's a little picture icon of what it can look like. You can have the files at the top, you know, the video preview at the bottom. You can arrange it the way that you feel most comfortable and that is most visually pleasing to you. So feel free to play around with that. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and hit that plus. And the first thing it's gonna do is ask you to name your project. So I am going to name mine, what should I name it? Example short video. And then once that is done, then you get to choose the frame rate that you'll be having your project at. And so you can go down to 18, you can go all the way up to 60. Uh, I, for most of my videos, shoot and edit it 30. And the frame aspect ratio, this is really cool. Four by five is that standard tall video for Instagram. The one by one square is really great too. But for now, nine by 16 would be your like stories. I'm gonna go ahead and do the 16 by nine in the landscape mode. And so you'll see the video is going to look like that up in the upper right hand corner once we have one. So the next thing you're going to have to do, you're going to have to import some sources, right? So you can import media from a few different places. You can do it from any of your online places. And another thing is if you go up to the little flower button, you have the ones that are on your computer. So your photos imported, stuff like that. You can go ahead and select one. So for my example, I'm gonna go into where my photos are. I'm going to select a video from the Seattle YouTube day. And I think I'm gonna choose the short one here, which are my friends at Rivet, where they were doing a presentation on how to set up a website using their site. Now, one thing, I don't need the entire video, which was about 16 minutes long. I'm thinking just a short like promo video. I'm just gonna take some in the middle here. I don't know, I'll probably end up speeding this up, so I'll just take like four or five minutes or so. And then once I decide on some, oh, I kinda like this because it kinda looks like he's putting his hands up and saying like, ta-da, I'm done. And you can even see information about the video as it was shot. You can see it was done on November 3rd. It was done and shot on my Apple iPad Pro shot at 30 frames per second. So once I'm good with that, I'm gonna hit this little button that indicates I'm gonna drop it down into my timeline. And the cool thing is you don't need all 16 minutes, just that five minutes you selected. Now you can pinch and zoom the level of amount that you are zoomed in on the timeline to make it go faster or slower. And you just do that with your fingers. So now what you see is the video and he's talking in the background and you see the sound waves. I think I'm gonna select that clip and then I'm going to bring up the options for it. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to zoom in because I really wanna focus a little bit more on what's going on on the screen. I don't need some of that dead space on the side. So I'm gonna zoom in on my clip. Yeah, I like that. And you know, this is all to your liking. You can do it however you like. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to play with the speed. I know for, okay, you can make it go slower, but I am definitely gonna wanna speed up this clip. And I like that as you change the speed, if you look up in that middle of the right-hand corner, it tells you how long your clip is gonna be. So three minutes, it's, you know, a minute 42. I think I wanna try and keep this under a minute just in case, like if it was Instagram, so around five times or so, that'd be about a minute long and then I could trim up the end. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, perfect. Now the volume, I think I'm gonna throw some music in there so I don't need the volume. I'm gonna take it all the way down. Let's see, now that I have done that, I wanna take a look at the filters, there we go. Here are some color presets and ooh, some of these look pretty good but I'm gonna go ahead and click on the original and then I'm gonna manipulate some of these myself. Yeah, I don't wanna confuse myself. I'm going back to the original and then I'm just gonna change the levels and the brightness and the contrast. See, this is all personal preference. You could go with one of their filters or you can just kind of do it yourself. I definitely wanna increase the saturation and I'm gonna take those, oh, what's it look like with those highlights? Okay, I'm gonna mess with that a little bit. I'm definitely gonna turn this a little bit more blue. Yeah, I like that more. So the walls look more white. I definitely like that. Ooh, okay, no wait, that turned a little pink. I'm gonna bring it back. I'll just leave it. And yep, 
So like I said, this is all personal preference. Do it however you like. And they have all kinds of different filters and additions on here that you can do, which are great. And in here, you could even do things for like green screen. Um, that is a great thing about this. You guys know that iMovie on your iPad or phone doesn't have that option, which is why I had that video about pocket video about how you could add green screen. And you could also use LumaFusion. And I really actually like LumaFusion. Okay, so here we go, back to the main timeline. My clip's about a minute long, and yes, you see those spikes for audio, but there's no audio. Next thing, I downloaded a song from my friends over at Audio Hero, and I'm gonna drop that into my timeline, make sure that the whole song is selected. Looks good, hit that arrow. Yeah, I like that. We're gonna go ahead and drop that in. All right, now you'll see it as a separate track. And I'm gonna make sure, I'm trying to tie it to the very beginning there. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit here. And as you can see, you can kind of scrub through your timeline and that blue bar is where if you were to hit the play button, where it would pick up. I'm trying to check out the end. It looks like the music ends before he's finished doing that ta-da pose. So I'm gonna to have to play with that a little bit. Let's see here. What if I make the ending a little longer? Does that help? Oh, you know what? I think I went the wrong direction. I wanted it to be the music goes longer, his ta-da is sooner because of the fade out, right? Okay, I have to go back and mess with that a little bit. Okay, so I need basically the music to extend longer. You know what I might do? I might just actually slow down the clip where he does kind of like the ta-da arms and just make that clip be longer because I could try and throw a blank, but I don't think, nope, that doesn't accomplish what I want if I throw in a blank piece. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. Then we'll go back to my main idea and extend it out and do a little bit of time manipulation, just make it be slower. Yeah. I think that's a little bit better. I think I could even trim that up now and have it end on the ta-da. Yeah, okay, I like that. And you know what? I'm thinking that the audio was maybe just a little too loud. I'm gonna go back to where the big spike in audio is. I'm gonna select that and put a cut there. I'm going to go into that audio clip. I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit on that. Yeah, I like that a lot better. So it's not quite as loud. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the button for exporting. And it's going to say, where would you like to put it? You could go direct to YouTube or Vimeo. I like to always export it to my photos so I have it on my computer or iPad first and then upload it from there. Okay, so here you can check the resolution, the frame rate, um, the video quality, and I want to have both video and audio. And the file format I'm going to do as .mp4 and it will tell you how large they think that the file size will be. That all looks good. I'm gonna hit the export button at the top. It's going to write the movie for me. And then you'll see that it deposits the video directly in the photos album. And you'll see it's now available if you open it up. It's my latest clip on my camera roll. And I think this looks really good. This looks like something that they could throw on you know, their own YouTube channel and show this was us presenting at a local type event or, you know, anything like that. I think it's kind of a cool way to edit on the go. You don't always have to bring your full computer with you. If you had your iPad, if you have your iPhone, you can still do all kinds of different formats, all different sizes and have something that looks really good. Of course, you can throw on titles, transitions, all sorts of cool stuff like that. You can do green screen, like I said. So you can do a lot of things with LumaFusion and you guys may wanna check it out. It does cost a little extra, but I think it's worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I put out a new video every week. I can't wait to hang out with you guys again. I'll see you very soon. Bye!